Hi, kids. Today we will learn about two transformations, that is, reflection and rotation. So let's start. First of all, we know that transformation is any process which changes the position, shape, or viewing angle of any shape. There are different types of transformation depending upon the kind of change it's doing to the 2D shape. Let's first learn what is reflection. Reflection is also a type of transformation where a transformed image is flipped image over the line of reflection. Here, this is the flipped or reflected image of an arrow. Here we have an E letter, which is reflected. Reflections are the mirror images as seen across a line or a point. If you place a mirror on the line of symmetry of an object, you see the other half in its reflected image. And if you place mirror on any edge of a 2D figure, you will get its reflected image. Here are more examples of reflected images. Reflection is also same as rotating the object 180 degrees like this. Points on an image and its reflection are equidistant from the line of reflection or mirror line. When a point is reflected in a mirror line, the point and the image of the point are equidistant or same distant from the mirror line. Let's have a look at example. A is the point on actual image and A dash is the point on reflected image. Both the points are equidistant from the mirror line. Let's have a look at another example. A dash B dash C is a reflected triangle then. A and A dash are equidistant from the line of reflection. B and B dash are equidistant from the line of reflection. C and C dash are equidistant from the line of reflection. A figure and its reflected image are always congruent to each other. That is, they have same shape as well as same size. A figure and its reflected image are congruent but face in opposite directions. Here are examples. Now let's learn another type of transformation. It is rotation. Rotation turns the figure clockwise or anti-clockwise, but doesn't change the figure anyhow. That is, shape and size of the image are not changed. It is turning an object from left to right. It is called turning clockwise. Let's have a look at some examples. This is image A after transformation of 90 degree clockwise turn or rotation. This is image A after transformation of 180 degree clockwise turn or rotation. This is image A after transformation of 270 degree clockwise turn or rotation. This is image A after transformation of 360 degree clockwise turn or rotation. We see that on rotation of 360 degree, we get the same image. Now let's see counterclockwise rotation that is, turning counterclockwise. Turning counterclockwise is turning right to left. This is image A, after 90 degree counterclockwise turn or rotation. 
This is image A. After 180 degree counterclockwise turn or rotation. This is image A. After 270 degree counterclockwise turn or rotation. This is image A. After 360 degree counterclockwise turn or rotation. That is on 360 degree counterclockwise turn we get the same image. So kids, we learnt about transformations, that is, reflection and rotation. Okay kids, now you may go ahead and take a quiz to practice more. Bye-bye!